All right, everyone, express the following numbers as decimals. So we have four numbers here, and they are written in scientific notation. Scientific notation means that it is written out as m times 10 to the n power. And that first number m, or the first part of the scientific notation, must be greater or equal to 1 and less than 10. And then our exponent of n, if it is positive, that means that we are writing a very, very big number in scientific notation. Generally something that's going to be greater than 10, something like maybe 100,000 or 100 million, something like that. If our exponent is negative, that means that our scientific notation is for a very small number, something like 0 .000001, something that is a lot smaller than 1. Okay, so let's do a couple problems so we can see this in action. So number A, or question number A, says 1.52 times 10 to the negative second. So what is this expressed as a decimal? You want to look at your exponent. So our exponent is negative 2. So negative exponent means that we have a small number. So something that is less than 1. So this number is actually less than 1. So how do we write that number? Well, if we have a negative 2 exponent, that means we're going to move the decimal point two spots and because it's negative we're going to move it to make it a smaller number. So let's write m or the first part of this in scientific notation so that is 1.52. Because our exponent is negative 2 we're going to move the decimal two places either to the left or the right and because it's negative we want to make the number smaller. So that's going to determine if we go to the left or to the right. Well, if we want a smaller number, I want to go to the left. So I'm going to go 1, 2, because that's going to put my decimal point here. And I'm going to add a 0 because we have nothing in that spot. So rewriting this number, we're going to have point zero one five. 2. And you can add a 0 in front of that if that's how you write a number like this. So 0 0.0152. Okay, so for number 1, 1 1.52 times 10 to the negative second, that is the same thing as writing 0 0.0152. Those are the same numbers. One's in scientific notation and one is written as a decimal. Okay, let's move on to the next one. For B, we have 7.78 times 10 to the negative 8 power. So, let's write the first part, the M of the scientific notation. That first number is 7.78. And then looking at our exponent, we have a negative 8. So, that means we're going to move the decimal place eight places and because it's negative we're making this number small because it's actually a small number so like a we're going to go to the left so we're going to take our decimal and we're going to go one two three four five six seven eight places to the left and all of these are going to be zero. So zero, 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 zero should be seven zeros. So let's write this number out. If you want your zero first, you can do that. So zero decimal. Okay, our seven zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then the seven, seven, eight after that. So for B, 7.78 times 10 to the negative 8 is the same as 0 0.0000000778. All right, on to C. We have 4.996 times 10 to the 6th. 
So let's write the first part of our scientific notation. That is 4.996. And then look at our power of 10, which is a positive 6. So positive exponent means we have a big number. So we're going to go the other way with the decimal point this time. So we're going to take our decimal point and we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 places to the right. So let's fill in those three zeros there because we need something in those spots. Okay, so let's write this number out. We have 4996000, and then our decimal point would be right there. What number is this? This is 4,996,000. So that is the same thing as 4.996 times 10 to the sixth power. 4,996,000. Okay, last one. We have 5.6 times 10 to the negative third. So we write the 5.60 first. Look at our exponent. It is negative 3. So this is a small number. So we're going to take that decimal point and we're going to go 1, 2, 3 spots to the left because that's going to make this a small number. We're missing these two zeros here, so we fill them in and we can rewrite this number. So 0 0.00560. And make sure you write that last zero there because we actually know that that is a zero. It is a significant figure. Looking at problem D, it says 5.60, and that zero is there because we know it's a zero. If you want a little practice with significant figures, I'll have a card pop up in the top right to get a little more practice with zeros and if they're significant or not. But back to problem D here. So we have 5.60 times 10 to the negative third power as a decimal. That would be 0 0.00560. All right, there you have it. How to express the following numbers in scientific notation as decimals. All right, if you want to see another example, click in the top right. Please like this video if it helped you in any way. Feel free to look in the doobly-doo below for additional help and resources. Please subscribe and ring the bell to get notified for new videos. And thank you, thank you so much for watching.